Yo, what is up? I am back with a brand new video and in today's video, I am going to be talking about Brian Johnson, well known as Liver King, who had managed to gain millions of followers by promoting misleading claims about the so-called ancestral diet. So he gained millions of followers because he had impressed so many people with this so-called ancestral diet, which would range from beef testicles, raw animal livers, and beef brains, etc. Like, isn't this just crazy, guys? He would often appear to have a very big muscular look with a really long Santa Claus type of beard, and he would appear in most of his videos shirtless. This is to no surprise why he has so many followers because I think he has a very unique look. And this is the type of look that will grab a lot of viewers' attention. Liver King was making a living from social media and having his own brands. He would be selling animal supplements, animal organs, and he'd be making millions. And one of his brand's names was Heart and Soil, and the other was Ancestral Supplements. He also claimed to have a degree in biochemistry, which I think is proven to be true. From his videos and from some written sources, we can see that he just lives a completely different and unique lifestyle. Oh, you can't be in here without your shirt on. Oh, you don't have oh, a shirt. You know what, yeah. somebody said that earlier. You might not know this, I'm actually wearing a muscle shirt. Ah. So I got a shirt and I got shoes, just doing some shopping. Is that okay? If you don't mind, we're gonna have to ask yeah. you to, to go. You know what, I do mind. But you guys look like some incredible primals over here, helping other primals come in here. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for that. I'm just gonna shop for some more primals. This is a primal store. I'm just gonna do a little bit more shopping. Give me five minutes and then I'll be out of here. Are we good with that? Yes, sir, we can That's do that. Fine. I appreciate you guys. Hell yeah, Liver King out. Some will say that he sleeps on the floor. I don't know if this is for benefits because some will say that this has benefits such as improving your posture and increasing blood flow, etc. And then there are other sources saying that he never drank beer and that he would be drinking animal blood. He'd also be in like bone marrow, uh, egg yolks, and this was like well seen in a lot of his videos. Videos. Bruh. Even though he's only been around for a year and he blew up so fast, this is where a lot of speculations and alarms started to raise. People wondered if this was actually the lifestyle he was living. Maybe he was promoting a fake lifestyle to mislead people into thinking that it was real and to try and copy him. You'd see him doing like certain workouts and doing certain type of things in his life. Like swimming in a cold water. He'd say like he doesn't shower and that he experiences more benefits from that and that with the type of diet he uses he doesn't even need to clean his ass after taking a shit like what the hell we were also wondering is this why he has his physique is it from the work he's doing is it from the diet he has people were thinking that there might be other hidden dark secrets besides just eating an ancestral diet and following this type of lifestyle and this is when a lot of these speculations arised and people were concerned and assumed that he was definitely most likely using steroids. From what I know, I assumed this from the very start too. I knew that there was no way that it was the raw meats that he was eating that got him this physique. It was just obvious by looking at him that you would notice that straight away this man is using something. The way I was able to notice was first off in his waist. You will see that he has sort of an enlarged and thickened waist. And this is a side effect that is mostly shown from bodybuilders who would use the steroid called HGH, which is human growth hormone. And this is a steroid that a lot of bodybuilders who do open use when you're trying to get a lot of size. And that's why I assumed that the type of one he was using was specifically HGH once I saw the waist and you'll also notice that he has a bit of a uh, capped shoulders and this is like a common side effect too like for anyone using like nearly any type of uh, gear because when your hormones increase 
you have like more androgen receptors in your shoulders so they'll be the first type of thing to like blow out and look bigger and it just gives you that unnatural look and then besides the HGH with which I was assuming he used I also thought he's definitely using you know the typical uh, testosterone or a bit of DECA because this is like the most popular type of one people use and with this type of one the only way to use it is uh, by injecting it so I just knew there was a chance he was using test or DECA and then um, I also assumed if there was a third type he was using maybe he's using a trembolone but with this I thought it was like 50 50 because I didn't really know but I just knew it was HGH and testosterone his skin also does appear to be red which doesn't look too healthy and I think this could be the signs of like high blood pressure or high cholesterol which is another side effect that is commonly associated with steroids when mostly used in higher dosages. Also, when I looked at his body, I was wondering maybe did he like undergo some sort of body modifications or surgeries? Because if you look at his abs, they don't really look natural and he like doesn't really have much obliques. It's just like six massive blocks of a six pack. So I was like, maybe he did ab implants or something. Then I also thought if he was running gear cycles, he was predominantly running higher dosages by just what he looked like. And most especially when you consider he's the age of 45, it kind of does make it that bit more obvious. But that doesn't go to say that he wouldn't really look strong if he wasn't on gear. Obviously he wouldn't look this big if he, was, if he wasn't on gear, but it does seem to show that he had good genetics if you look at pictures from when he was younger and he was usually always like athletic and sort of had that bit of an advantage sure look at bodybuilders like ronnie coleman even before he started taking steroids he looked better than 90 percent of people who actually take steroids so and there are hundreds of people who take steroids and they still look like they've never went to the gym in their life so it doesn't guarantee that you'll look big that fast because people think that it's a magic pill and there is no magic pill that'll get you into shape without hard work and gym or a bit of nutrition obviously it's a strong compound and it's going to be quite effective and yes it can speed up the results of many people and get them to that desired shape that bit faster but don't be fooled into thinking that it can just do all the work for you like that. You still have to put in so much work. And I think that, in my opinion, Liver King was right when he did claim that he had worked hard. Obviously, he did work hard and spend hours in the gym working out, lifting weights, etc. And, you know, he just had a bit of the good genetics as well. From what I see in his videos... He does seem to be like a really nice guy and have like a nice personality and he sort of acts in a way which makes his videos like just more enjoyable to watch if I'm being honest. And this is probably one of the reasons why he managed to build such a big following because you know all this type of stuff comes under marketing, how you look, uh, the way you talk, you know all these just different types of factors. He has appeared in many podcasts and has been asked repeatedly whether he's natural or not. And he would always claim that he was natural. And a lot of people just thought that his physique wasn't attainable naturally. So after lying multiple times in interviews and podcasts, this sort of raised concerns of many, including Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan would say it in his podcast that he is 100% not natural. Have you seen that bloke that eats the just the raw? Yeah, that's a gimmick. That guy. It just looks ridiculous. He's got a something. plate of hearts and br it just looks. Weird. He's got an ass filled with steroids, is what he's got. <laughs> and then he was also asked one time again if he was naughty or not. And then he then said, "Oh, that it's gene modifications, and that he admitted to using ab implants, which he would deny." And then he would say that, oh, he was only joking and this and that. And then he would even like make up jokes about taking steroids to make it look like he was natural. And then he would say stuff like, oh, my legs are a bit small. Obviously, you know, I'm natural. And Definitely take PEDs. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be on for the... I, I, I'll be All right, honest. here we go. I take PEDs.
Yeah. yeah. I prioritize, execute, and oh, dominate every every you. every fucking morning. Every morning. He just sort of make it look like it was all down to genetics and hard work where the rest of the 30 or 40 percent was down to the steroids. Even before he admitted to his steroid use, more plates, more dates was making a lot of videos about this because obviously he's almost like an expert and would know like whether someone's using it or not. So he'd make multiple videos like stating why he thinks he's unnatural and like going over all the podcasts where he'd be claiming that he was not natural and this and that. More plates, more dates had even made a one hour long video regarding this situation about the leaked emails of almost 15,000 worth of steroids. And I haven't watched that full video yet, but I am gonna watch it soon enough. But here is just everything from what I know. So it was just recently when the incident took place, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that uh, his emails had got leaked, which was stating up to $11,000 worth of steroid cycles, which is ridiculous. I saw this and I was shocked. Everybody must have been shocked. Even he must have been shocked as well. But it was to no surprise because I already knew he was taking gear. And then that's when I was like, hmm, everything I thought was true. And I wanted to dive a little bit deeper. The reason why I wanted to dive a little bit deeper is because I wanted to see all the different type of stuff he was taking and the dosages and milligrams or grams etc he was taking. But straight away when we hear 11,000 a month, that's just ridiculous. So that first of all shows that he was abusing steroids. He was going in high dosages. He must have definitely been going well above the standard dosage. I was like, there's no way he was doing the standard 250 to 500 milligrams of test. He must have been blasting, I'd say like 1.5 milligrams of trend, blah, blah, blah. I was like, there is no way that he was within a standard dose if he spent that much. Even if you spend it on the most purest or the best quality or type of gear, it shouldn't cost you that much monthly. Like whether it's the best or the quality isn't as great, to spend that much means that you would definitely been abusing them. So I am gonna show you the leaked emails of his cycle and run you through everything. This is not the first time that this has happened. There are many celebrities out there that they get some sort of private information leaked out about them. And that can like be so detrimental to their, you know, reputation. And it can just change a lot of people's opinions about them. And most especially on social media, which is just such a dark place to be in. A lot of people are going to hate and this is just going to drive so much negative traffic. But most especially in the fitness industry. Maybe they're not people who were as wild as him or would have ran cycles like him. Like this is probably one of the most ridiculous things I've seen happen in the fitness industry. But there are loads of fake natties out there. Like even look at Michael Hearn. He, he claims he's natural. The man is over 50 years of age. And this guy looks like he could defeat Thanos in Marvel. Like there is not a chance that he's uh, natural and nobody says anything about him because he hasn't been caught out yet. But you know, there's so many other fake natties out there. And the thing about with social media is these people, they take the gear because they know that once they're in better shape, they can influence a lot of people. You could be jacked, have a six pack, and then you could tell people that, oh, if you eat 10 pizzas a day, you will lose weight. And these people will think, oh, this fella's jacked. If I do what he says, I'll get into shape. You could sell them the most shittiest supplements or the most shittiest workout plans out there. And they're going to buy from you because they want to look the way you look. And they think that by buying whatever you have, they'll get whatever you have. It's just the way the industry works. And then, yes, they're also very like honest people who can even be natural and they might not even be in the best shape, but yet they'll give you the best advice and this and that. But like being in shape obviously is going to help a lot more. 
and like this whole social media thing some people are living fake lifestyles they'll look happy on social media they have fancy cars best physiques and they look rich but then it can be so like a uh, draining for their mental health like even the liver king said he was going through a lot obviously the body dysmorphia would have kicked in there'd be times you'd get like you know tired over worrying about your content and pushing sales and this and that and you know just trying to have that min image can be so overwhelming at the same time and it sh can just affect your mental health even though we knew there was no way he was natural it was just such a coincidence that he got caught out on the spot and his emails got leaked but the fact that he was spending this much on cycles so there was no dodging the bullet from this and now when i went through his comments on instagram after this situation i could just see so many people were given a lot of hate people were saying that they followed his diet and experienced health problems and this just showed that he has influenced so many people and this is probably the reason why he made millions because he has such a big following where he can do his marketing and people are just going to take his advice with anything whether it's true or false also there are many people in the fitness industry including people who actually are natural who look incredible and when they say they're natural a lot of people might not believe them even though some people mostly the experienced people like myself will know that this was attainable by having good gen genetics just because you're in good shape doesn't mean that you're taking steroids like even me myself i'm not trying to brag or sound arrogant but i'm into this social media and bodybuilding and powerlifting and gym type of stuff i'm only 20 years of age and i managed to build a physique like this i'm able to lift extremely heavy weights and just do so well in fitness and i'm natural and so many people don't believe me when i'm when i say that i'm natural and people have even labeled me as fake natty like i'll tell them and proper explain and be defensive and yet they still won't believe me whereas like most of the people who actually know me and who have known me for a while know that i'm natural because they just know that if i was able to look so strong from the age of 13 this is the outcome that will happen after seven years of hard work and just having good genetics and then my diet would be like on and off i wouldn't say it's really the best but you know that's also proof to show i have like really good genetics so when people ask me if i'm natural and i say i'm natural it's not that i'm lying it's because i'm actually being honest but then if you're actually unnatural it's always best to just be as honest and as transparent as you can be there are so many good fitness creators out there who are actually admitting now like some of these people even looked good already even before they started taking gear and they'll just be straight up and tell you what they're taking and why they take it and this and that because they care about their followers and don't want to mislead people on Noel Diesel is a great example of this he takes gear admitted to it and yet he still inspires millions of people including myself and he's been able to become very successful on social media regardless whereas on the other hand people will prioritize their money instead of their followers they don't give a shit about their followers and just care too much about how much money they make so they'll keep taking steroids in order to keep achieving a really nice physique to help bring them in more sales and just lying and misleading people to buy their products and they'll keep making more and more money and then they'll feel that maybe if they admit it can affect them with their brand or maybe people won't trust them as much so that's also why some people will actually lie and claim that they're natural even though they aren't i'm still wondering why the coach who was helping him run these cycles would have leaked this type of information i wonder if there was like some sort of confrontation going on or why but at the same time i feel like it was all it meant to be and we all just needed to know the truth and then i'd also wonder why even a more plates more dates is leaking the information as well but it is what it is despite everything that's going on and despite the hate that he's receiving what i really like about liver king is he still seems to be staying positive he's still pushing out content and 
he's just sort of like ignoring this and I think that's kind of good at the same time. However, I think he might be pushing out his content a bit too much and needs to take a break. He also says that his steroid use had nothing to do with his brand, which it obviously did. Like, I mean, the steroids is part of what would have obviously helped him build up that following and obviously bring him more sales, meaning he would make more money. He also states that when he was younger, he went under hormonal therapy and he took different type of steroids and yet he wasn't seeing results. So that's the reason why he decided to take different types and take higher dosages, which just kind of says that he does not prioritize his health enough. I mean, like if you're taking something and it's not working enough and you're just pushing higher and higher dosages, that just shows you don't really care about your health enough. I mean, if you are competing to try and get first place in Mr. Olympia, that would be a different scenario. But when you're just trying to look good for social media and this and that, I don't think pushing an extreme cycle like that is going to help you. He also says that the whole ab implant was all a joke, which I'm not sure is true. Maybe he's right, maybe he's not. Well, I personally think that he did undergo ab implants, but we don't know. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. At the beginning of his apology, he also boasts that he was already rich even before he was taking the steroids and the whole brand. Anyways, overall, I think it was a pretty decent enough apology. There are just a lot of things he needs to watch out for. And I think he's probably learned his lesson and probably regrets what he did a tiny bit. But like he's still staying positive. And like I said, he's not the only one. And I think like now that he's admitted, a lot of people will let this just slide past and let it die down. And he'll continue to still do good. Now... Do you think that this is going to affect his business in the long run? Yes, I think it will, but, ju but just by a very insignificant amount. I still think he's going to be rich. He's still going to run a lot of sales and have millions, but it's going to be nothing compared to what he would have been making if no one found out about the emails leaked. So I think the emails being leaked is going to reduce the amount of money he makes each year by his brands. Anyways, we are just at the climax of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I wish Liver King the best of luck in his future and hope he learns because he isn't a bad guy. He seems pretty decent at the same time. He's just made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes in lives. What do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comments.